Hey guys, welcome to another video on Cloudwood's YouTube channel. This time we're looking at the difference between cloud backup and cloud storage and why it could be wise to adopt a hybrid strategy for your files in 2017, depending on your needs. So let's get started with a video. This video discusses a few providers that I use on a daily basis. I'll add a link to all of them in the description box below so you can review them essentially at your own pace. Thinking that cloud storage and cloud backup are basically the same is a pretty common misconception we encounter here at cloudwoods.net via comments, via, via the email section, YouTube comments, etc. Some believe the model used by storage providers like Dropbox and Google Drive to be the only decent way of remotely containing their data. Thinking like this means never really fully appreciating the advantages of convenience and security that using a dedicated backup solution like Carbonite can offer. If you want to find out more about Carbonite, I've mentioned them already in several videos and also created an in-depth review in this channel. So check it out. In general, when we speak about cloud backup, files are mirrored from a device to the cloud. This can be your computer, this can be a server, it can be mobile device or any machine or any device that stores data locally like this one. Using the cloud reduces the risk of total data loss because data is stored remotely whenever or whatever happens to your computer, you can always retrieve your files because of that mirroring process that took place earlier via the internet. Reputable cloud storage and backup solution go to really great lengths to ensure your data is preserved in perpetuity. So let's take our example from above, Carbonite. They focus on three key areas, redundant storage, hardened data center facilities, and system monitoring software. Now, redundant storage ensures that even in the event of a server or computer failure, a backup service will still have a copy of your data. Most services will have a RAID strategy in place, for example, a RAID 6. So it is redundant and independent because they spread your data across 15 different disks with at least three copies of each data block. Should one disk fail, the data blocks on that disk get instantly hot swapped to another disk. So there will be always at least three copies of your files. I've illustrated this principle in one of my last videos where I showed you my backup strategy with this device, with the TerraMaster that uses also a RAID device. Now, the advantage of using, say, Carbonite is that their servers sit in a protected data center with surveillance and all the good stuff to keep your data safe at all times. While here in my house or in the office, Somebody could break in, there could happen some other disaster to, to that station or to my computer, and well, my data wouldn't, wouldn't, be, wouldn't be that well protected. Now, since your data sits in the cloud, you can access data via a web browser and you don't have to download an application to do so. So if you're on, the, on, your, on your way to the office and you forgot a file at home, you just browse your mobile and get the file from there. Now, I've been talking uh, about this mirroring process, but what does it actually mean? Well, the backup software monitors your computer's folders for changes that happen and then updates those changes to the cloud. The advantage is that this will happen essentially with all your files in your machine and not just one folder or file. Now, let's take a look at how this really looks in practice with the example of Carbonet and some other applications. So here we are essentially on my computer. And as you can see, I've installed the, the uh, Carbonite software. And this one is actually backing up uh, right now, everything in the background. And at the beginning of the installation process, it asked me which folders I do wanna back up. And standard, the standard way is to back up every um, documents folders like desktop, downloads, documents, pictures, music, movies, etc. So you can be sure that if you store your files there, that um, all those files are backed up. But even still, you can say, okay, I do want to um, add a few more, a few more files. So you could go into your hard drive, and uh, now this is selected as as backed up. Um, but you could go into individual folders and then um, select these uh, folders that you want to back up because application files are not backed up in the standard configuration. Um, you can then select them and back them up individually. Now. Um, 
This is the advantage of the online backup service. I can just select any file or any folder as we've seen. So as you guys know, I use a lot of cloud storage services. So um, here are here's an, an example of a provider called sync.com that can highly, highly recommend if you are looking for a replacement for Dropbox, for example, because you're not happy with Dropbox's security. Um, you can simply add your files and folders to that uh, syncing folder and then share files um, across your, um, yourself or sync it with yourself or other people uh, that you want to have access, that you want to grant access to those folders. Now, then there is another service I like a lot because it has a special feature which is called the pCloud Drive and the service is called pCloud. The drive is um, embedded essentially in, your, in the Mac Finder or the Windows Explorer as a separate drive, but um, the files you store in here, they do not occupy uh, hard drive space. Now with online backup, online backup um, needs essentially the files on your computer to work correctly. So if you delete a file, from your backup stack, from all your selected files in the backup, then if the software doesn't find that file during a period of time, most, um, most of the time it's uh, 30 days, um, it will not back up that file anymore and will delete the file from the service. Those services offer unlimited cloud backup and of course, Unlimited is a lot. And if they wouldn't do that, obviously people would just use online backup services as cloud backup hard drives, essentially. And that wouldn't be a feasible business model. So that's why files that those uh, pieces of software like Carbonite, if they cannot find the files on your computer, um, they will delete those uh, after a certain period of time. But of course there is a grace period and of course they will let you know via email. So um, you can never worry about forgetting um, uh, adding the file back. Now the good thing is with online backup services and unlike other cloud storage services, you can also attach external hard drive. So if I would uh, to be switching on my um, TerraMaster, as you can see now it is humming along and it should, it should connect now to, uh, to my Macintosh computer, um, it will actually appear in the Carbonite Center as, uh, as a drive. So we have to wait a little bit until, um, until it appears here, until it recognizes that there is a new, uh, a new hard drive connected because I have not configured this as a network attached storage device. It is still an external hard drive connection, a RAID with uh, I think five, uh, five hard drives are in here, yes. So, um, and there you go. So here, this is the main storage. And if I click the main storage folder, I can browse its contents. And I can also say, I can hit the green button here and say, back this up. So what Carbonite will do is it will add that hard drive to the backup stack. And uh, depending on your internet connection, it will upload all the files that are, that are on this drive, no matter, um, no matter how large uh, the drives or the connected drives actually are. So now you've learned what's one of the main differentiators between cloud storage and cloud backup. While traditional cloud storage services like Dropbox let you pick one folder to sync, a cloud backup service like Carbonite mirrors all your computer files essentially at once without you having to uh, take care of which files you want to back up. By not restricting you to the sync folder model of cloud storage, you don't have to worry about making sure you've actually moved all of the content you want into that single syncing or backup folder. This also means that if you need to replace your computer because of a hard drive crash or another mishap, you can restore your exact file structure and including some metadata on your new device. Services like Carbonite simplify the process by automatically backing up all your files on your computer. The file selection me method works well when you keep in mind that the service also gives you essentially unlimited backup space and there's no real need to pick and choose which files are most important to you. It just backs up everything. I think that both Carbonite and Backblaze, both offer the unlimited cloud storage model for their backups, are probably the easiest cloud backup services for beginners to use because they simply scan all your system files 
and you just add external hard drives if you need them to be backed up as well. And you can pick some files or folders manually from the file explorer if you like, uh, for example, a little more control. Now, both cloud storage and backup have advantages and disadvantages. For example, you cannot share files with Carbonite. On the other hand, Dropbox doesn't provide you with automatic backup or end-to-end -end encryption unless you add some other uh, applications to, um, to the software. So what's my recommendation for 2017? First, look closely to what you need. Do you need to collaborate and share and sync files? Then services like sync.com or Google Drive or Dropbox could be a great choice. If you need a complete system backup, you can get around services like Carbonite, but since they offer unlimited cloud backup for $59 per year, I say, why not? And keep it as an additional security net for all my files. This is what I do. So I really hope this video shed some light on the question of storage versus backup. Let me know what your questions are. Let me know what you have in mind and share them in the comment section below this video. And I'll make sure to cover it in my next video. See you next time. Bye-bye.